Hello and welcome. Today we're walking from Panther Meadows on Mount Shasta to the top of a Grey Butte. That's a, a mountain top next to uh, Mount Shasta. And it's a moderate, moderately difficult hike. It's, a, it's an elevation gain of some 750 foot. And the top itself will be at some 8,000 feet above um, sea level. So this is on the, the meadows itself. This is in July, so uh, it's luckily there's still some water flowing, snow, melting snow water from the mountain coming out of the, uh, the sacred well that is uh, close by here and uh, flowing over the meadows and uh, like I said luckily to at this time of year it's all nice and green there are many wildflowers to see and, uh, so this is a look Upstream, the, uh, the well is a um, few minutes hiking uphill here, but we're going in a different direction. We're going across the meadow and then we'll go into the, the forest ahead and then we have a little climb to do and after we've cleared the, the forest there is a, uh, a right turn and we'll cross a little or a narrow um, ridge and then we'll kind of circle around Butte until we get to the top. But first here we have to clear the first section through the forest. As you can see, the path is not uh, too clearly marked. It's, it's clear enough, but sometimes uh, you may get lost a little bit. If that happens, just uh, keep going in the same general direction, uphill, and eventually you will get to this sign. You, the end of the, the path so here it splits in two directions and we go to the right actually we're not going to the right it's a little misleading the sign because there is no path to the right you have to go actually straight but on the right side of that sign so here it is so we're going straight and then after a little while also this path like you, as you can see it's not too clearly visible. Here it becomes a little more clear to see where we're going. So we just just follow it and then it will make a slight turn to the right. And then here we're getting to the, uh, the ridge that I was talking about. It's going from Mount Shasta to Grey Butte and here on the top in the middle, a little right of the middle of the screen, you will see the destination where we're going to. The top of Grey Butte. And so currently we are on this narrow ridge. Here you see that to the left and to the right it goes pretty steep down. But there's enough uh, enough room to safely walk. On these type of videos it's always difficult to see 
like what is straight ahead, what is going down, what is up, because you never know if the person who made this video is panning down or panning up. So now I'm about the um, um, level, so now I'm looking straight ahead, what you just saw a few seconds ago was looking, panning down the ridge. So now again looking straight ahead, following the path with the on both sides going steep down. And here we get to the end of the ridge. We're going to take a little side uh, trail. This will take us alongside around Grey Butte. So from here on you will have a steep uh, hillside going down on the left and a steep hillside going up on the right. So here you get a better sense of that. You can see by looking at the trees what is the vertical. And then nice view in the distance. And so you can see that we are walking on the on the side of a steep hill. Then a few parts along this path, you will come across these uh, stone. Not sure what to call this stone. Um, There were avalanches or something, but anyway, just cross it and keep going. And this uh, this whole trail from Panther Meadows to the top of Grey Butte is about, let's say, about two miles, and it will take about an hour to walk. Here again, beautiful views to the left. And this is a good reminder to when you are on a hike, from time to time turn, turn around because you never know what to expect. So here we see Mount Shasta when we turn back around. And, uh, bottom left you see the trail that we that I came on but we will continue here and now we're getting to the and in a manner of speech, we're making now a right turn, we're turning around and uh, going on, circ circling around uh, Grey Butte. And here on this side of the, of the hill, the mountain, you can look down on the ski park. The ski park that is between Mount Shasta and McLeod. And you can see it down in the distance there, the, the red area, the red hill, the cleared hill. You can see it a little better here. So that red hill and then behind it the cleared hill, that is the, the ski park. And there, in the distance, you can see McLeod. So we are here quite a bit higher than the ski park. 
and just keep following the trail. And again we come to a place where we turn around or turn to the right again, like I said, circling around um, Grey Butte to slowly go to the top. So all this way it is slowly going up and up. And there in the distance, not too clearly visible, is uh, Lake Siskiyou. And to the right is Mount Shasta, the city Mount Shasta. But here we continue going up, circling up. So by now we have made almost a full turn around the uh, Grey Butte and we'll now get a, a view of Mount Shasta while we're climbing. And there it is. And in the bottom left corner you also see the the road that leads up to Mount Shasta. There's a easy accessible road that goes to the uh, the old ski park that is now gone. And towards the end of that road, that's where Panther Meadows is and where we started this uh, walk. This is a uh, beautiful old tree that I stopped to take a look at and here you also can see it's going steep down there standing on the edge of the of the hill looking down Nice view on Manchester. And then I continue the climb to the top. Almost there. Here we get a view to the top, and this is the highest point. And from here, this is a small plateau on the top of Grey Butte, and there's a beautiful 360 degree view in all directions. Lake Siskiyou, Manchester. There's Black Butte in the distance. It's next to the city of Manchester. Here you can clearly see the, the road snaking uphill. And right there in the middle, that's where the road about ends. Manchester. So looking around and around.
was a second term again looking at Mount Shasta and also you can see how quickly the the clouds can change in this one turn that big cloud suddenly appeared you were looking down on the ridge that uh, part of which we uh, walked before and also looking panning down to get a better sense of the height that we're at direction of the ski park there direction of Mount Shasta is it the trail that we that I came up to And then finally here is a, a little marker on the, the summit that's an indication of the, the elevation and I think it says 8119 feet the 9 is not so clearly visible and, uh, Thank, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day.